It's currently still unclear whether or not, though, this package will get the approval of President Trump uh, as it prevents him from lifting earlier sanctions without congressional approval. For their part, EU officials already voiced their concern about the move. Wrapping it up, Caleb Mopin with more now. The sanctions bill that was passed, it targets many parts of Russia's economy. It targets mining, metal manufacturing. One part of the bill that was specifically singled out uh, was the energy sector of Russia's economy. The bill penalizes any company that cooperates with Russia's pipeline projects. This is what Tim Ryan, a representative from Ohio, had to say. We must continue to focus on how we get our gas here in the United States, our natural gas, to Europe to our allies so they're not so dependent on Russia. It seems like things may not be as complicated as they appear. Now, at this point, the new sanctions bill from the U.S. Congress specifically targets uh, the construction of a key Russian gas pipeline into Europe. Now, it says this gas pipeline has a detrimental impact on Europe's energy security. Uh, in the same paragraph of the bill, it says that the U.S. should prioritize exporting its own natural gas in order to create American jobs, help its allies, and secure U.S. foreign policy. Energy policy is not just a vital element of U.S. economic policy, but it's also a vital element of U.S. foreign policy. And one of the most important actions we can take is to use our massive shale gas resources to begin shipping liquefied natural gas overseas. All this excess natural gas we have now, which they don't want to leave in the U.S. because it will lower the price and profits, they want to export it particularly to Europe. Well, if you're going to export it to Europe, you've got to reverse the relationship and dependency of uh, Germany and other, others on Russian gas. So this gas play here, this energy play, is uh, deep and behind the scenes economically uh, for the United States here. So is everyone happy about it? Well, absolutely not. The European Commission is planning out what its response will be if European businesses are hurt by the new sanctions from the United States. We are following this process with some concern regarding the European Union's energy independence and our energy security interests. Well, one thing they can do is they can make sure that what the U.S. is seeking to do doesn't apply to European companies. And the focus of this debate is the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, which um, Western Europe is very, very committed to actually seeing completed. And that investment at the moment is being threatened by this U.S. initiative. Now, at this point, Russia sells the European Union 38% of its natural gas, with only 2% of European Union natural gas imports coming from the United States. You can bet that some slick Wall Street syndicates would like to reverse that lineup. Caleb Maupin, RT, New York. Labour rights lawyer Dan Kovalik told us the sanctions bill is aimed at increasing the US share of the European energy market. I do not believe this is about protecting uh, democracy, the U.S. democracy, or anyone else's. This has a lot to do with the U.S. wanting more of a share of the market in Europe for its natural gas. I think this has a lot to do with the U.S. trying to gain a, a geopolitical and economic upper hand in the East. 